What's up, YouTube? Uh, so I got the uh, mixer motor installed. Here's the uh, switch set up. I just took a piece of plastic here from uh, the wiring I used for the uh, to hold the motor. Um, basically, it's a uh, house house wire, and this one is empty. There's no nothing in there. Just plastic. I just have it going over nice and easily, you know, so I don't do damage. I glued a gear on the base there with some crazy glue. And it seems to be doing really well. So now I have a, a knob to control instead of using that little tiny, tiny switch down there or store the control the knob down there versus the knob up top and I have really good grip on there <laughs> so yeah the motor is hooked up I know it looks different because I took the metal pieces and the gears off for now so I can do some tests with it but I'm gonna hold on to that gear stuff so let's let's fire this up this was the pump that had the um, the uh, the board on the back, the electronics board that I took off. And it's got four outputs, and you can see what I'm connected to right there. So let me uh, shut this light, and I'm gonna turn it up. <laughs> Oh, wow. Look at that. I'm not even 100% yet. That is throwing some serious light, guys. Some serious light. Lighting up the whole room, okay? Uh, let me uh, disconnect that. Now you see how the light changes with the cameras? I don't know why they put stupid filters in like that. But uh all right, let me let me disconnect this floodlight LED floodlight. Okay, so I got this big curly light here. That's the big one. Uh I don't have the uh capacitor hooked in line yet. It's just just a pump, guys, all right? Let's go ahead and turn this one on. Bang! <laughs> I'm not even, I'm a half, about halfway. So yeah, these filters on the cameras are really kind of crappy, you know. I don't know how to remove them. But anyway, let me go on to the next bulb. Okay, let's see what happens here. Wow, look at that. I'm barely, barely on. I'm barely on, me too. Oh. Wow, wow. Look at that. Uh, uh, that lit up my room. So that's how bright that was. Okay, so that bulb lit up the room. That was a 40 watt bulb. Trying to make that out right there. Mm. 
more light on here. Let's focus, focus. I can't really even, it, it's really messed. That's a four. Oh no, that's a 50. Focus, camera, what's the matter with you? Anyway, that's a uh, 50 water. Now we'll go to the big one. And I'll just show you a comparison. 100 watt bulb. There's no information on this bulb, but it's huge. And it's huge. See the size of that, right? Okay, YouTube, let's try this bulb here. I'm gonna shut the light. I'm gonna hit the switch. Very little bit on the switch right now. Oh, change of color right there. I'm not. Let me show you where the switch is. Oh, it just went back. That is lighting up my room. Can't believe it. Whoa. That is hot, YouTube. That's hot. Wow. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Okay, YouTube. Here is the 220 light bulb. Uh, from the microwave. That was a 220. And it looks like it's uh, kind of baked, you know what I mean? It's used. Let's see if it'll run. Give me a second here, okay. Oh, that look, look at that. <laughs> look at that. I barely have the, the speed control on. Barely on. Look how red. Oh, it's warm. You run it long enough, right? Yeah, that's definitely warm. Wow, that was throwing some light, YouTube. It's just unbelievable. I can't believe it. So basically, I'll show you everything again. Here we got the uh, motor. I just have that connected straight to the tube. The uh, gas line for riding mower. Just the small gas line for the ride mower all right so it's connected to the pump i have a piece of plastic in here like i showed you on my last uh few videos i have two clamps off the ride and mower gas line hose thin stuff guys not that thick big hole this is very small okay so we got everything here let me turn this on one more time We already got some lighting going on here. Cool. Well, thanks for watching YouTube. Uh, I think this is a big uh, step up. 
uh, with the motors and the speed control for uh, a mixer that you mix mashed potatoes, you know what I mean, and cakes and whatever. Um, the handheld mixers you get pretty cheap these days. Look at that. Uh, the, the gears and stuff I took off. For now, I'm going to hold on to them. There's all the bulbs we lit today. And, uh, wow. Thanks for watching. Such a big difference from the ones I have been using, the motors I've been using to this motor. Just takes it to a whole new level, you know, a whole new level. And uh, I got to get my meters out. I got to get the capacitor, get that hooked up. There's a microwave capacitor right there. I'll be using uh, 2,100 volts, 50 to 60 hertz. So, that's what I'll be using right there. Anyway, guys, I want to keep this short. We need to look at that again. Okay, that comes comes with the mixer, guys. The speed control. Peace. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.